Pokemon versus Linux. Oh, oh wow. We can watch. I will watch that. I will watch this. Pokemon versus Linux Tech Linus Tech Tip. Why is there always like, dude, why is there so much Pokemon drama? Like, I I don't understand why you guys find it interesting. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Most of the time it's something kind of dumb. And it's like irrelevant. What what did she make some recommendations that Linus didn't like and then that's it? And then he's like, I think that's stupid. And then she's like, oh, you're stupid. And then so that's this is where we are now. This is how bored we are. This is how bored we are as people. But let's watch it, dude. Uh, that's no criticism to Bull Blocks. I'm just saying. So a couple days ago, Bloomsburg posted an article talking about some rumor changes to revenue. They say Blooms Bloomsburg? Like, like, the, like balloons? Which is planning about behind the scenes to potentially release this summer. Which basically boils down to creators getting more money. Let's see. Bloomberg. Twitch is considering changes to its partner program. Currently discussed ideas, not finalized. Incentives for more ads. Makes sense. New revenue split. 70% instead of 50. Or are they going from 70% to 50%? Wait, what? Is that... Are they going to remove it, push it down to 50%? Am I reading that right? Why? Why would that make things better? What? Oh, okay. Wait, why? Why would you do that? That's so... What a bunch of fucking morons. New tier system. No more exclusivity. That would be a really big one. Changes could be implemented this summer. No more exclusivity would be amazing. I That would be incredible. Because honestly, I, I would... I think I'm... I think I want to start... I don't... Oh, dude, I've been actually thinking of giving up Twitch. Or like streaming on Twitch and YouTube. Um, I've been thinking... I've been kind of thinking about it. Now, a couple months ago... I've been kind of thinking about it because, like, I kind of liked YouTube a little bit more, maybe. That's they—they they saw how much YouTube made, so they wanted to max it out. Why does YouTube only do fifty? Well, I feel like fifty. It's just I feel like it's different. YouTube is just like different. I don't know. I mean, they already do fifty percent for the most part. Like, it's only seventy percent if you if you're over like a like a baseline sub. They do sixty percent for tier twos and seventy for tier threes. Like, most of my subs are tier ones or Amazon Prime subs are only fifty percent. So, but okay. Money from Twitch ads, but less money from Twitch. I feel like YouTube is just better in general. More people have it. It's it's just kind of it's just kind of nicer, honestly. And then I could leave my vods on my main channel, and like I could just upload my vod, and then maybe put like a lot of the clips on the leftover channel, or any like particular clip that I like a lot, I could put it on the main channel. You know what I mean? <sighs> I'm thinking about it. Twitch subscriptions. A bunch of Twitch streamers objected to this idea on Twitter, one of which being Pokimane who tweeted out, In my opinion, Twitch should just implement ads that don't directly interfere with a stream. Sidebar, picture-in-picture, -picture, overlay, etc. I understand advertisers are essential to make a platform profitable, but intervening with the viewer's experience isn't how they should go about it. Like I mean, that makes sense. That makes That's like a good way to do it. I mean, that's like an idea. Maybe you can't do everything like that, but that's not a bad idea to do. Minus Tech Tips then responded to her by saying, those ads are barely profitable for a text-based site. They've been pretty much worthless since 2010. Unless you can pretty much guarantee the viewer can't ignore it, it does nothing for the advertiser. So why would they pay for it? I, mean, I guess that's a good point too, but okay. Linus then elaborates on these thoughts two days later on his WAN Show podcast, which Pokemon then reacts to on her Twitch stream. Since it's pretty much played in full over there, I will just show you her perspective of watching what Linus said and her reaction to it. I didn't. Can someone see LDR? Or actually, maybe I could find it. I saw a really terrible take from a Twitch creator that was like, Twitch should just have ads that are totally non-intrusive. Like, to the viewer. Why is that such a terrible... Why is that a terrible take? Like, maybe an uninformed take. But why is that a terrible fucking take? Like, I mean, that's not a bad idea if it would work. You saying, like, yeah, it's a bad idea because it would work. Why is it Why is it a terrible... Bro, I swear to God. Listen, I don't really like Pokemon that much. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of Pokemon. I just don't particularly care for the creator. But there seems to be, like, a huge issue with people not liking people and then deciding to treat them, like, disproportionately, like, worse off drastically. You know what I mean? Like, Pokemon gets so much shit constantly. People, like, hate her. I don't really understand it. Like, if you don't like her, just don't watch. Like, who gives a shit? Like, why? Do, like, it just, this, that's what it feels like. It feels like everybody on the internet kind of, or, like, a lot of guys on the internet don't like Pokemon because she... Like, cause they, it's not even because she's a successful woman. They just feel like she, she got it because she's attractive or whatever. And even if that's true, who cares? Like, get over it. Like, worry about yourself. Like, worry about your own success. You know what I mean? Like, who really fucking cares? You know what I mean? Like, trying to deplatform her or speaking poorly of her is not going to make your fucking content any better. It's just like, you know, I, again, I don't like particularly care for her, but like, why, why, why spend so much? I don't know. We could have just said it better. Could have just been like, yeah, for real. A lot of people hate my queen. Yeah, exactly. I'm a tier three sub, guys. <laughs>
for like their ads should just like not be intrusive and i was looking at it going you know this feels like that whole thing remember when there was the big controversy on youtube where they uh, basically started enforcing like ad uh, advertiser friendly guidelines on videos and it was affecting okay. the rate at which you could get monetization and you had this this whole outrage from especially certain corners of youtube that created very non advertiser friendly content and my take at the time i felt like was very controversial and not received very well where i basically said well yeah did you expect was going to happen at some point there was going to be a reckoning where advertisers were not going to want you you guys don't understand you don't work with like national and international brands they are extremely conservative when it comes to and obviously not all their exceptions but they're extremely conservative when it comes to the associations between their brand and other things and so i feel like this is another one of those situations where i'm going to come in and i'm going to say well yeah what, what did you think was going to happen do you have any idea how much twitch costs to run and do you do you think that banner like static banner ads on a website are going to pay for it? <laughs> I promise you. I give you my personal line. I mean, there are those types of ads exist on YouTube too. I mean, offering the selection there isn't like a horrible idea. And if 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 a, an advertiser wanted to do that, let them do that. I, I don't understand why this is like we're having we're shitting and coming right now. This tech tips guarantee that unintrusive ads are not going to pay for a site like Twitch, no matter how many of them they plastered on the page. Unintrusive ads don't pay for the forum. Because, <laughs> because no advertiser is gonna pay for an unintrusive ad because they don't work, because they don't call your attention away. Obviously. My, my... No offense, no offense, whoever does not understand how web advertising works, even though it's like how they actually make a living. Sorry, I'm thinking about oh, oh, the, 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 the red split. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter if they're losing money on the 50-50 red split. If everyone else is still doing 70-30, then they're completely screwed. As for having creators push more ads, um, yeah, I mean, that's, um, yeah, that's just normal. That just needs to happen because banner ads, no, are not going to do it. Sorry, nameless um, creator. And probably more than one creator. I mean, well, I mean, I feel like the problem with Twitch is that, so this is one of the things about YouTube is that I don't think that they have super intrusive advertising because they know that like you get to maintain your VOD on on YouTube, on YouTube and people watch, go through YouTube. So they're like, yeah, obviously when the stream is over, you, un you unlist your stream and then you add revenue and you see if you can get monetized and then you pop it back up and boom, people are watching. That's all you have to do. That's all you really need to do. It's really easy. So they're like, yeah, we don't need to get a bunch of people during. Twitch is a little bit different. And so I feel like Twitch just cannot win. Twitch just can't win. <laughs> um, I don't know if they can win because there's no encouragement to go on to Twitch as a, view, uh, as a video platform, if that makes sense. It's just like YouTube's kind of better. More people are on there. You have a higher chance of being seen. You know, it's, it's they're a little less strict on their advertising stuff or or on their on their like um like rules about like you know whatever uh, like talking to band to other Twitch streamers and shit like that. The only thing that Twitch really has for it is those those Amazon Bezos bucks. <laughs> That's really it. I mean, Twitch has kind of put themselves in a shitty spot, and I honestly feel like them doing exclu doing an exclusivity thing that was their biggest downfall because they're thinking like we don't want people going onto YouTube. But instead, if you made it so that people could look at their Twitch as their main platform, then people from YouTube might like watch on Twitch. Like, let's okay. Here's the thing: if you're, I'm a partner on Twitch, right? So like, if um. If I stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, I lose partner, which means I can't get Amazon Prime money anymore. I can't get free subs. So that means that like I'm fucked in that regard. But if I could still get free like Amazon Prime things, I could pull people from YouTube into a viewer on my Twitch and be like, hey guys, come over to the Twitch, interact over here. You can get like free Amazon Prime like sub. You can support me for free, literally. So like it pulls out people because that's what YouTube is. They're like, fuck it. We don't care. So like if you stream on Twitch and you get some people viewing and then you're like, hey, come over to YouTube. I interact with you more over there. Boom. That, that's it. That's all it takes. It's crazy. And honestly, if they do release the exclusivity on Twitch and even if they don't, I might start streaming on both platforms and then I might just pay attention to my Twitch chat at this point or excuse me, my YouTube chat at this point because I just kind of feel like YouTube is better. Like the only issue is that like during the holiday season towards the end of the year, they're really slow with monetization at, Twitter, at YouTube for like a month, which sucks as it eats your money up. But then it's like, okay, you know, they just like they have a lot of people on vacation and then they, they're also dealing with a higher influx of people trying to make content for the holiday season. So YouTube premium giving a free sub would kill Twitch. Probably, honestly. I think that's a controversial take in community because there were like tens of thousands of upvotes on this super big brain idea that actually just not disrupt the user at all. Like, oh man. Oh man.
Okay, I think it's really odd because clearly they're talking about me. And if you're going to talk about a tweet that I made, why do you need to say nameless creator? Just just say my name. Yeah, it's true. No balls. My name. People are going to figure it out anyways. True. And secondly... I saw a really terrible take from a Twitch creator that was like, Twitch just have ads that are totally non-intrusive. Like to the viewer, like their ads should just like not be intrusive. And I was like... And why are you using that voice when coding me? Because you're a girl and girls are dumb. I don't know. <laughs> to be completely honest, it's just really hurtful to see because... I mean, Linus is someone that... Why that though? Why is it so hurtful? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what it, maybe that's the issue with Pokemon a little bit is she feels like she's always fucking like pearl clutching. She's like, that's so offensive. Like, I don't know. I would just be like, bro, you know who the fuck you're talking about. Stop being a pussy. I would laugh about it because you're a coward. That's how I would interact. But I don't know. Interesting. Tipster is a thing where you could show both Twitch and YouTube chat in the same place. I'll have to look into that. That I really respect. I respect all the content he's made on YouTube. But also, Why? even in regards to the points that they make, I understand that banner ads and other types of advertising that are less intrusive are perhaps not as effective. But that doesn't discount my initial point, which is that... You know what I'd be saying? Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't fucking know, bro. I just want people who watch my stream to have fucking fun. And I would pretend I'm jerking off. That's how I would respond to Linus. But, oh fuck dude i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm a fucking nerd that knows everything about advertising <laughs> that's just how i would respond oh fuck i'm gonna come i love fucking ab i i love jerking off the fucking platform oh i'm gonna come i have an exclusivity contract i need to jerk twitch off <gasps> that's, how, that's how i would that's how i would uh that's how i'd respond a little inappropriate but you know it's whatever works whatever works guys at, at least in my opinion Really, really terrible ad systems will impact whether or not people want to use Twitch way more than the profit split that a user gets. Also, people love to talk about 50-50 sub revenue on Twitch, but oh my God, it's 70-30 on YouTube. YouTube makes the large majority of their money off ads, yeah. not off of their subscription model. So obviously it's easier for them to be a little more lenient in that regards. I think it's just insane that people who are trying to like show they have a leg up business wise in comparison to my silly Twitter whamm and take. Like there are so many other facets that you guys are missing out on, especially. It's just up, brother. Um, Tugito I wonder. One thousand and four just subscribed. Thank you so much, brother. A lot of people who have been subbing aren't even using Amazon Prime. I feel like, <laughs> like that's fine with me, but it's like, damn, if I went to YouTube. You know, you, uh, you, I could just do a membership and you could sub over there for the same amount. I probably get more money. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? What's the what am I doing with my life? Honestly, dude, what the fuck am I doing with my life? I feel like I'm wasting my fucking time with Twitch. I fucking hate Twitch. I I'm, I'm not trying to be fucking rude, but I'm kind of tired of this fucking platform. I feel like I could, be, I could just literally, I could literally just upload my fucking stream to YouTube. Like, it will just stream on YouTube, and then I just leave it there, and then the whole, I could just leave a whole fucking four-hour stream up on YouTube, I could throw ads on it, and then people will be like, oh, I'm gonna watch your whole live stream, and if you don't wanna do that, I cut all of it up, and I put all the shit on the leftover channel, and then if I like one particular segment, I just put it on the fucking main channel. Yeah, you can make cheap membership. I put like the two dollar fucking membership over on you. Hey guys, two dollars. You don't get anything, but it's two dollars for me. Okay. Oh. What am I doing over here, dude? What the fuck am I doing over here? I don't want to make any rash decisions. Actually, the fact that you know what? Even if Twitch only did 50-50 models um, for subscriptions, live streaming on YouTube for any small creator is near impossible. You don't see thousands of people making a living at a hundred to a thousand viewers on YouTube like you do on Twitch. What? So no, I don't think it's gonna kill it. I do think that both of those. I just those I disagree, bro. I just like you 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 make every single person I've seen talk about it. Every time I've streamed on Twitch or YouTube, I get more viewers. Um, and like you could like the visibility is better on YouTube. They, they, it's the, I feel, I feel that way. I feel like the visibility is better on YouTube. And again, you can leave your streams up there and you can monetize them, which you do on your, on Twitch too. But it's just like, I feel like it's just fucking better. I've never, I do. I feel like Twitch is going to get, I don't know what Twitch could possibly do. I don't think that there's anything that Twitch could possibly really do to, 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 to like, Make people not leave. It's like the sunk cost fallacy. You know, the only, the only, maybe this is the wrong thing. Only reason I'm like staying right now is because I don't want to lose my partner in case I want to keep it. But like, does that matter? Like, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. But like, I, I'd make about a thousand bucks a month on Twitch, which is okay. 
you know, I, I mostly use this as like a vehicle to make my content, like for putting it up on Twitch. This is pretty much or, or, or YouTube. But then like VODs leave after like two weeks anyway. Like, what am I doing? You know, I could just be like, oh, Papa got live and boom, I got my thing. You know, you only use Twitch to watch me in Asma Gold. Yeah, I mean, like, I feel like I've had to pull people to Twitch from YouTube. It's just like so different. Those changes in conjunction are not great. But at the end of the day, my point was not like, <laughs> my point was not that intrusive ads suck. I'm just saying like, maybe that's not the way to go about it. So how about you just take my point for what it is, a decent one that is true on behalf of about every single user that watches live streams and instead suggest an alternative that maybe isn't banner ads? I don't know. Anyways, not only you that has tweeted that, Yes, but Mega they... Megasoy tipped $2. Oh, Linus cancelled for misogynism now. Okay, let me just explain. Yes, a lot of people did tweet We're that. However, I'm just taking context clues, which is one. Just have okay. ads that are totally non-intrusive. Like, to the viewer. Like, their ads... The voice just... that he uses. And two, he said nameless the creator. User. And I mean, you guys saw the tweet that I made. It was like 50k <laughs> likes. I don't know if many other creators, like large-scale creators, spoke about this particular issue. But it just makes me sad because, like, I don't know, this is someone that I thought was really cool. And for them to speak about my opinion, which only comes from the perspective of a, a viewer and someone who knows how annoyed other viewers are by the current ad system and who was simply suggesting. And I'm going to be honest with you, too. Like, if you when you, like, load into a stream, too, it's so fucking annoying. Like, you load into the stream on Twitch and it's like 30 second ad. I feel like that's a tune out for a lot of people. A lot of people, and if you if you like the creator, you're gonna watch. You'll watch the ad. But like, if you just some random, why the fuck would I want to watch a thirty second ad while I'm browsing for some random fucking dipshit? I'm not not no offense. Like, why the fuck would I care? I I also wonder why they haven't implemented like a Twitch Premium or something. Like, I understand you could sub to somebody to get rid of ads, but like, why can't I pay potentially five bucks a month on the platform with no sub to like not see? ads or something you know what i mean or maybe more i don't know i know that sounds weird because then like there's a reduced incentive i guess there's like a reduced incentive for um subbing to people i don't know but like maybe don't force somebody to watch a 30 second fucking ad if you've never seen them before <laughs> it's crazy uh i don't know they have twitch turbo um is your youtube live viewer to sub ratio the same as twitch i don't know i i Live to sub. I don't know. It's I usually get like more views on YouTube. Alternative. Instead, he kind of just like. Yeah, no one uses Twitch to find small streamers. I feel like people go on YouTube to just look for video content, and then it's like, oh, I see a live stream. Let me check it out, and then you put click on it, and oh, look, you don't have to fucking jerk around on it, you know. Yeah. Those ads are barely profitable for a text-based site. They've been pretty much worthless since 2010, unless you can pretty much guarantee the viewer can't ignore it. It does nothing for the advertiser, so why would they pay for it? I think this is a fine take. I just, why did they have to say it the way that they did? Nameless creator. It's just hurtful, to be honest. And yes, I'll go back to the trial, but I did want to talk about this on the off chance that he sees it and maybe understands that the way he talks about Bro, it's crazy how everybody's watching the Amber Heard trial, and it's like, it's people are super biased against Amber Heard, and I think that Giant Depp's probably the shit, uh, and Amber Heard's probably the shittier person between the two, but like, this, <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's like, holy fuck. Like, it, it's interesting, people have already picked a side, and like, she was talking about like, sexual assault, and like, listen, I don't know if it is or isn't true, but everybody's instantly like, oh, she must be lying, kind of shit. It's kind of sad. I feel like, right now, this Amber Heard, uh, Johnny Depp trial is like, taking over everything, and like, unless you're talking about that, you don't like get a whole bunch of views, which is like annoying, you know. Like I, I, well, I, I don't. I, I want to watch a video of it, like a rundown, once it's all over. But I don't want to. I'm kind of like tired of jump throwing my hat in the fucking ring. It's like weird, on like such like a speculative trial. About other creators' opinions can indeed be hurtful, especially when someone and like God forbid you think that Amber Heard, like again, it looks like they were both shitty. He, she was just worse. But God forbid you say that people are like you're just victim blaming. Like, no, I'm not, bro. I just I'm a fucking adult. I know how relationships can get very toxic both ways. I've never had like an abusive toxic relationship like theirs where people got hurt. But like I do understand how they get shitty both ways. Even though I they think that Johnny Depp is the one that's like fucking obviously um, more in the right, I guess you'd say comparatively. But Jesus Christ, it's just tweeting something as like is just tweeting something as harmless as, hey, maybe the current ad system is pissing people off more than it should if we want to make sure that this is a good viewer experience. Yeah, true. I agree. <sighs> but yeah, I would have right, very Bo much Box, move on from this fucking maybe they woman. gave an alternative instead of being like, this is the ad system that needs to occur. 
which like, okay, maybe it is. But at the end of the day, you still can't deny that it interferes with at its core, the magic of live streaming. And even if you're going to disagree with my opinion, I just wish they weren't as rude or hurtful about it. Man, and I was, I was just watching a Linus video the other day that he made about, All right. I think the Tesla Y model. And I was like, oh my God, this video was shot so well. Wow. And then I just see him talking to me like that. Damn, that's, that's sad. Okay. Why are we watching so I much of her? Powerful. I think it's really hard for me to hear someone mock my voice like that and then also refuse to say my name when very clearly talking about me and not be hurt by that. All right. I mean, I Honestly, I don't care. Like, I get it. This is boring. I'm not trying to be rude. The Linus, and she says, okay, here we go. We got, <laughs> I'm just going to skip forward to something that seems relevant. It's just her complaining for like five minutes, which is like her thing to do on her stream. That's totally fine. I don't know why Bullbox left so much of that in here. Take my feedback to heart and it'll be good, right? So right after her stream, she did end up making a Twitter response to Linus. In it, she says, Hey, just saw a clip where you discussed my tweet on your podcast. Wanted to let you know that I felt the way you read my tweet in a mocking tone, plus referred to me as a nameless creator, albeit also replying to this tweet, was odd and hurtful. As your points read, I understand that less aggressive forms of advertising aren't as profitable, but that doesn't mean the current system is the best one. In my opinion, further interrupting the essence of what makes streaming special- Alright, this is just her response. Okay. I'm- Find button adding more contact. Split on subscriptions. I admired you, blah, blah, blah. better on streamers. On Instead of just told tweets, he says, Thanks for the reply. I underestimated the internet's ability to put two and two together on this one. Maybe some of my frustration at how difficult it is to build a sustainable online streaming service came through. So here I think he's saying we have conversations on the regular, but he spelled it T-R-G-U-L-S-R. -S That's a really weird misspelling. Maybe it's another word that I don't know of. I think he's just using that to lower the talking count for an all because it was more important to put continued in parentheses and then a little asterisk or whatever that's called and like also multiple spaces that, that and no. alternative spelling the regular that some people use but but regardless what i think he's saying is we have conversations on the regular with creators who take for granted the free nature of online video platforms while also not appearing to understand how they come to be free i didn't seek any drama which is why i didn't name you not because yeah, but you're being an asshole about it so like you worse you didn't seek any drama but you you talked shit and hoped that you didn't get hit, which is what basically happened. I didn't say your name, but I did talk about you in a mocking voice and in a way that like suggests that you're very unintelligent. Um, I understand the internet. I underestimated the internet's ability to put two and two together on this one. That's a con. That's condescending. I think what he's trying to say there is that like, oh, I thought people would be smarter than this. But it's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, why the fuck would we be educated on the specifics? Uh, this is the way that that's bizarre. People are going to advocate from their point. So if you're a viewer on Twitch, you're gonna, or and that's the perspective that Pokemon was coming from. You're gonna advocate from that perspective. Like, hey, I'm a Twitch viewer. Hey, I'm a Twitch viewer. So I would like things to go this way. And if you need advertising, it would be better to do banner ads. Now, is that practical? No, but like that's what you advocate for. And then Twitch is like, well, we want to make the most money. And then viewers go, we don't want to watch ads constantly. So then where's the meat in the middle? That's generally how advocation works from both time, like both sides. It's fucking bizarre. And then he had just like a fucking meltdown. He's just like sucking the dick off of Amazon. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Because you were nameless. Because Twitch is a subsidiary of Amazon time to watch streams, but I have followed your career for years, as I consider you one of the truly business-minded online creators. Maybe I was also kind of disappointed in the way it felt your take was aimed at stirring up anger towards Twitch about a situation I know from first-hand experience they probably have no power to fix. It's an engineering marvel that Twitch functions at all, and at a 50-50 split even. I'd be amazed if they could keep the lights on without consistent cash infusions from Amazon. At the end of the day, creators need to do what works best for them, which might involve milking whichever platform has the most VC funding juice driving it. But I also wish there could be an attitude adjustment where we build towards a more sustainable ecosystem in the longer term. Platforms use the word partner a lot, but I think both sides could be better partners. As for the Valley Girl voice, it had nothing to do with you. You don't sound like that. If anything, then, it's then why did you use it? an acknowledgement that when I'm not scripted, I tend to sound like that. It Dude, Linus is a pussy. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. You were being condescending. Dude, it's like one thing to be like a condescending. Like, it is whatever, dude. It's another thing to like lie about it. Like, why are you being a pussy about it? Just be like, yeah, sorry, bro. Bro, what is this? Oh, that's just the way I talk. Dude, shut up. What a loser. It's not personal, but it was rude. I'm sorry about that. As a way of apologizing, if you were interested- What a fucking coward. What a pussy. In exploring your newfound multi-platform freedom, we had spent considerable development resources on multi-streaming and could help point you and your team in the right direction. It's not much, but I don't want any bad blood. I believe in transparency, so I'd prefer to leave the episode unedited, but I'll make sure my team doesn't clip it, and I'll remove the original reply to this. Should be. A little tougher to track down. Follow- 
Load if you want to talk further. Pokemon then responds, Appreciate the kind reply, apology, and elaborating on your points. I could see how my tweet could seem misinformed, but I was just being short. I'm also someone who's typically more biased towards Twitch, so stirring up anger is far from my MO. We'll DM to continue convo. I wouldn't DM it for shit. I'd be like, bro, you're a coward. Shut the fuck up. This is such a loser response from Linus. And that's about it for the public discussion between Linus and Pokimane. Doesn't okay. seem like it evolved into a shit show like most of these dramas tend to do, but I thought the general topic of discussion, as well as Linus's and Pokimane's reactions to each other, were interesting enough to warrant the creation of this video. Anyways, with all that being said, if you have any additional thoughts about this drama- Bro, that's some fucking coward shit. Oh, I'm not subscribed to on this channel. I'll subscribe here. That was just some coward shit, honestly. Like, <laughs> Linus is a pussy. Like, bro, you could have just, all, bro, your 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 insane reaction is one thing, but then you have like this like pussy response. Oh, I'm so, my valley girl. That's just how I talk sometimes. You see how I'm doing it right now? I'm doing it to be condescending towards you intentionally, and you did that too. But I'm not gonna Papa, cry about it. Getting me into Lost Ark and then dipping. Now I'm addicted and can't <laughs> stop playing. Sorry, brother. Sorry, I've been playing. Wow, I have nobody. Like, I don't have a lot of people to play games with. If there's like a Lost Ark community to play with, I would fucking care more thank you so much for watching guys and another special shout out to all my patreon twitch subs if you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone go down to the links below where you can sub on my patreon which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall <laughs> uh, or you can go to the twitch page and you can actually use a free amazon prime sub if you have amazon prime to subscribe thank you very much guys take care